Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of a and &E Do Brews and tonight with myself, Eddie, and the wonderful Estelle, currently on camera work, uh, we're just going to do the second part and a follow up to when we brewed the Ritchie's German Weiss Festival beer in the Pinter and what we did was we split the ingredients half and then halved it again so a quarter in, quarter of the overall ingredients into, two, into a Pinter each and we brewed it and the results are here and um, it doesn't look very much like a vice beer because it's very clear for a start off and as you'll see in our previous video it's not overly a wee bit a wee bit of vice beer but not it just lacked a little bit of something the original gravity on this when we split it was only one point 033 to start off with so it just lacks don't get me wrong we like it honey don't we it's perfectly the, drinkable the depth lost. it's just yes yeah, not enough mouthfeel mm. just a little bit it's not over percentage wise it's okay it was about four mm. it's but we want we want to try so one of the viewers said it'd be a really really good idea I said we could maybe do it and cut it into thirds, but then you're obviously losing 10 pints worth by making it more condensed, using less water, things like that. But then he suggested that we get some SME, it's called, I think, but this is wheat dried malt extract. So it's wheat, particularly for the uh, vice beer. And it's made by Richie's, who are exactly the same people that make the beer kit. And I thought then what would we do as well? So what we've done is we've split it quarter again of the ingredients, then a hundred grams of the wheat dried malt extract into the black painter and 200 grams worth into the white one. Now the white one has, we've got an ice spindle in it, so it should be done. When it's done, the other one should be done too. And it's starting off with an OG of 1.042. So definitely a bit healthier. So we're looking forward to that. Um, it is a bit of a faff, I must say, trying to do two pounders at once, uh, trying to get them sanitised. Because um, I've actually run out of the spare sanitizer I had for uh, the kits from Painter. So we've used VWP. Other brands and sanitizers are available, but this seem to do the trick and it dissolves way way easier than that stuff that uh, Pinker send us so we're going to get these on tonight folks uh, and then we'll update you with the usual the taste test and what the trubs look like and all that good stuff and hopefully then it's a bit of a faff because this stuff actually doesn't dissolve terribly well compared to normal sucrose or fructose got to make it into a paste uh, and then add it but yeah we'll see if this can help you guys uh, use kits which are much much cheaper to make nice beer not that there's anything wrong with pinter stuff but this is just another avenue we're going to investigate for you thanks for watching and we'll see you in two ticks with an update hi everyone and the update is we seem to be missing something oh dear okay so what happened was uh, the white pinter with the 200 grams in it was brewing away fantastically with the ice spindle. Day four, it was 75% attenuated, over 4% ABV, going great. But what had happened was it had bubbled up. You've, you, guys, you've probably experienced it. If you Sometimes if they're really, really active, uh, the foam will bubble up through the PRV. And I think what happened was it stuck the PRV closed and it wasn't a colossal explosion it just leaked out overnight and i think what's happened was it's not tap it was leaking out from the tap but we think what's happened is it's broken the seal inside and it was leaking between the inner casing and the outer casing and then the contents were coming out so luckily it was in a tub ah yes estelle the wonderful estelle <laughs> guys that's my i think that's our second one in a p we lost a p1 remember mm -hmm. So we lost a P1 and that's our first ever P2 that we've lost. But, brew it in a tub, it didn't go everywhere, it collected it all. Uh, lucky I was home because it was about to overflow when I got caught. And this is all that's left. Now what came out at the time, 
<clears throat> was very, very hazy. And you can see the amount of yeast, the amount of brewing that was going on. It was still very, very lively, so we left it. We bottled what we could salvage from, from inside the painter, what was in the basin had to go down the sink. But this is what we salvaged, and you can see about the yeast that was still suspended. We put it in a warm cupboard, left it for a few days, and now we've started conditioning it. We cold crashed the blue one last, no, we cold crashed the gray one last night. Mm. This is the remnants of our old, the previous version. So you can see that's how clear the previous Vice Nights was without mm. adding any extract or anything. And this is the new one. So it's quite a lot here, here, but that's only one day conditioning. So we'll go back to it and we'll see in a, in a few days time. But we're going to undock it, but we're going to, we'll taste this anyway, shall we? Shall we taste this and we see what it's like? Oh, you might not enjoy that, honey. With, this is with the spray malt extract. That tastes more like a vice beer. This just tastes like a, a nice beer. Sorry, my arm's shaking because I managed to fall down a fire escape last Saturday. Yes, that was great, honey. Well done. And um, <laughs> I'm kind of bruised. What do you think of that? Oh, it's lovely, yeah. It Definitely out. tastes nice. It'll be interesting to see how, they, how it turns out in the painter mm -hmm. compared to the bottom stuff. But that's really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that smells more like a vice beer as well. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Spray malt extract. Mm, way forward. So let's have a look and see what. So it's cold crashed overnight. All cold crashing does, it allows the yeast that are still suspended to clump together and fall down better into the dock. So this should be nice and clear to start off with, which it certainly is. Mm, good bubble. Nice healthy fizz. It's definitely carbonated. And hopefully we'll get a bit of trub. Dun dun dun. Come on the trub. Honey, you're shaking like a... I know, I'm, I'm really hurt. My Excuse me, really give me this. So hopefully, Hopefully, well, if it's, if it's as cold as it was last night, the chub might have been really, really dropped to the bottom, it's which is fine. good, it's actually, no, but it's, it's, it's fizzing well. Mm -hmm. But guys, yeah, the next thing we're going to have is just the taste test at the end and a wee bit of a comparison. But initial thoughts are is that the festival kit split into four with added 100 grams of the spray malt extract looks really really the way forward 200 grams maybe a bit too healthy maybe a bit too too much going on inside your painter pressures can be too big but uh yeah back in a second hi everyone and now we're at the taste test bit and it's christmas eve so wouldn't be christmas eve without a bit of 80s eggnog so hmm it's actually really um, nice it is actually really nice without the egg white we don't do egg whites anyway now we're at taste test with what is left of our experiment, and I have no idea what it's going to be like, but we're going to crack open this festival vice and see what it is like. Now that's usual, the first one out is pouring very, very high, but it's in a pint of glass, so it's going to be high anyway. We'll try and get one that's just not as fizzy. Good news is it's definitely carbonated. So this is the 100 gram uh, extra spray malt extract one. So looks like it's worth it. Oh. Cheers. As usual, everything's dripping and good old piker. But we'll make sure that tap is down so we don't lose anything. And then so well. Okay, from the last time. It has, you come uh, closer? with the cold crash and the conditioning, even though it was quite cloudy at that time, it's definitely cleared up again. So it looks good. It smells nice. I don't do it down in one of it. Look on <laughs> No. Mm. That's you have a wee tiny sip? You have a sip of that one. Get it? Yeah. Now, 
Oh, our recommendation nice. would be it does smell nice. Our mm. recommendation would be that if you're doing a kit, split it four ways, add 100 grams per pinter of additional spring bulb extract, and you will get a wonderful. That is very very nice. It's not very vicey though. It's not. But it's, well, should maybe nice explain to people why your f fingers are black. I was kidding the car into stuff. Sorry about that. <laughs> Typical Christmas Eve stuff. Get the get the car prepared for Boxing Day. <laughs> you look like a tramp with your black hands. Lovely folks. So, Merry Christmas to you all, and a Happy New Year. If I don't have a video on before then, uh, thanks for being subscribers to the channel. Estelle, do you want to say anything to the viewers? Yes, Happy Christmas and Happy New Year and. As Aidy says, I hope um, this year brings you lots of happiness Indeed. and enjoyment and luck. And so certainly we're going to enjoy this festival kit out of the pinter <laughs> this evening and top it up with a bit of eggnog. <laughs> right, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you all again soon. Okay, bye.